Hi all, welcome to the second part of the Certified Kubernetes Administrator series. We designed this series for people who are looking for CKA certification. In this series, we will cover selected 30 questions and answers, in the previous part we solved 3 questions, in this video we will cover next 3 questions and answers, without further ado, let's kick start. The fourth question is, you can find an existing deployment, front-end in the production namespace, you have to scale down the replicas to 2, and need to change the image to engine X version 1.25. You can see the weightage of this question is 4%. Let's solve it. Let's find the deployment in production name space. We can see a deployment consisting of three pods in this name space. We can solve this problem in two ways, either we need to edit the existing deployment, or we can use imperative commands. First, I will show you to solve this by editing the deployment. The command is kubectl edit deploy deployment name minus n namespace name. Here we can see the current replicas, just edit this. Same as we need to change the image name. Done, just save and exit, then it will auto deploy. As you see the deployment is scaled down to two replicas. We can use kubectl describe command for detailed information about a Kubernetes resource. Here we can see the logs of scale out. If we go to topside, then we can see the details of current replicas and images in this deployment. Okay, let's clear the screen. This is the first way to solve this scenario. Next, I will show the imperative way to solve the same scenario. I reset the terminal, let's check the deployment in production once again. First scale down the replicas to two pods, in order to do that we need to use kubectl scale deploy deployment name replicas equals two minus n namespace. You can see the deployment is scaled down to two pods immediately. Next, we need to change the image. To do that we can use kubectl set image deploy deployment name and container name equals image name.
Image is updated. Let's describe the deployment once again for cross-checking. Yes, it is updated. Let's go to the next question. The fifth question is, auto-scale the existing deployment, front-end, in production namespace at 80% of pod CPU usage, and set minimum replicas equals 3 and maximum replicas equals 5. For solving this question, we have to implement HPA which is a horizontal pod autoscaler for this deployment at 80% pod usage, and also need to set minimum and maximum replicas. Let's try to solve this. Let's check again the deployments in production namespace. Yes, we can see a deployment in this namespace. We can solve this scenario using an imperative commands. Cube CTL minus N namespace Autoscale deploy deployment name min equals 3 replicas, max equals 5 replicas and CPU percentage equals 80. Horizontal pod autoscaler deployed, let's check and verify. We have deployed HPA, it will autoscale pods up to 5 pods when pod CPU usage has reached 80%. You can see pods are scaled up to 3, this is equal to the minimum replica count which we set in HPA. The sixth question is, expose the existing deployment in the production namespace, named as frontend, through node port, and node port service name should be frontend SVC. In the previous part we exposed a pod as node port service, but in this question, it is asking to expose in deployment, that is the only difference, and the weightage of this question is 4%. Let's try to solve it. Let's check the deployment in production namespace. We have to expose this deployment. The command is kubectl n namespace, Expose deploy deployment name, name equals service name, port equals 80, type equals node port. Let's check the service. Okay, the service is exposed through node port. Let's check whether the service is exposing or not.
Yes, it is working as expected. Sometimes they will ask to expose the service through a specific node port, then you need to edit the service using the kubectl edit command, I will show you that also. Yes, port has changed. In next video I will show you how to use Kubernetes documentation for creating the Kubernetes fundamentals resources. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. We have lots of exciting videos in the pipeline that we can't wait to share with you. Once again thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.